Yo. Hello. Hi everyone. Um, it's me. Again, I'm back with another Iron Man video. It's been a little while. Um, and uh, the last video I posted, I was doing some Arduino work with some servos. And um, that was a test for a helmet that I was doing. Um, but I've come across a really awesome team and a group of people that created um, these boards. They're the Alicia boards. And I'll be talking about that a little bit today and going over that. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Okay, so welcome to my messy work area here. Um, so, I am going to be talking about uh, this board today. Um, this is called an Alicia board, and it's made by Crashworks. They're a pretty awesome engineering team, a group of awesome people. There's like a, a guy that's for coding, a guy that's for uh, developing the boards, and all that stuff. So um, that's where this board came from. Um, I will be posting a link to however you get to their stuff in the description. <laughs> and... Uh, Here's the back of the board with just the solder connections. There's their logo here, um, which is really awesome. This is a USB connection here. Um, so, what does this board do? This board uh, motorizes your faceplate helmet right here. So, if you have it set up for hinges or like a, a 3D printed helmet or a foam helmet, whatever. Um, if you have it set up with hinges, you can put servos in there and you can motorize it um, so there's a lot of ways to do that uh, and there's been a traditional way floating through like the Iron Man community for a while um, these guys have developed this board to make it as easy as possible and as cheap as possible for people to get um, for me this was about thirty three dollars thirty four dollars um, Keep in mind though that you do have to buy additional stuff to, to actually get the system working. Like um, I, I bought this power bank. It's a USB power bank for the power. Um, there was a certain, uh, I think, eh, some something. Uh, there, was, there was something certain about it, but oh, here's the box. Okay, so I just went with this. All right, um, and I think that was powerful enough from what I read before in the instructions. I can't really remember off the top of my head, so forgive me. This is just what I went with, um, and it works great. So, aside from that, uh, I have a USB connection for the power bank here, and I'll explain how that works. So, literally this board makes motorization for Iron Man helmets plug and play super super easy super simple um, the only thing I really had to do was solder the button maybe and the LEDs and that's all um, which there's some places that you can get like cosplay LEDs for super cheap or whatever that already have these kind of connections um, if you are solder savvy you can solder these connections on um for me it was super easy uh if you don't know how to solder get somebody to do it for you or like get somebody to help you with it um so on the board every power every port is is labeled as you can see there there's a import or a input for the switch there's a power in there's an expansion port a power out um Here's the ports for the LEDs right here. Here's the servo motors right here. Here's the Nano itself that's sitted perfectly, just perfect on, on here. Uh, I couldn't have done or even imagined a better board for this. I think it's it's absolutely perfect. And it, it's great size too. So um, for the price and everything, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, so... Continuing on from here, I 
already have, I'll show you my helmet here. I already have everything set up. Um, so Crashworks does have a kit specified for certain helmets um, for the hinges on Thingiverse and those are free downloads so you can do that. Sorry if you can't see that well but I have uh, Metal Gear servos in here and these are my own hinges that I had set up in here and, and custom um, pretty much just custom positioned in there and I have these two that I had printed on my own um, there's my button in the chin area I've seen a lot of people do that so I wanted to do that too and it's actually a lot more practical and it allows me to activate the switch hands free which is great um, I cut out my own acrylic eyes and I'm using a like a sun visor sticker so that deflects the light and reflects reflects the light really well sorry I can't even talk um, but anyway this helmet was a DO3D helmet and uh, I, f I did find another helmet file though that I'm gonna be reprinting this is a great helmet but I have other plans for it so whatever anyway um, moving on for this board here so um, for your eyes you literally just plug in the LED for the right LED is labeled right here, um, right eye LED, and then left eye LED. You plug those in, and you plug in every other associating item, like plug with it, and it, it'll work. Um, so I have my plugs labeled here. Um, so I'm going to show you how they go. Um, so... That goes to the right one, and then I'm going to do the left one here. And I'm going to show you a demonstration of how it works, too. Um, so, sorry if this is a little rough. Bear with me for a second. I'm on a tripod, so that's great. So, this is the switch, and this, the switch literally goes to input switch right there. Plug that guy in, and then... So I have my servos labeled 1 and labeled 2, um, and it's literally on servo 1 and servo 2 there. I don't know if you guys can see that, so I plug them in to this one's 1, and this one is 2. Okay, so those that's all wired in there. And now, um, what I would do is I would take my my USB here. I think this is a micro USB. And I would plug it in with the power bank here. Okay, so after you have your USB connected and all your wires connected and your power bank is on, you can go ahead and hit the button here and it should activate there it is and then close and then the lights do turn on too I'll try to get a shot of that here so let's see there's the lights and then close and then turn on um, so that's the motorized kit I activate it with my chin and uh, it, it does great. Um, so the second, there's a second part to this and I want to show you the second part to this now. So um, the second part to it, aside from the Alicia board, well first I should show you guys this. So this is the instructions for the Alicia kit. It's the Arduino Nano LED and integrated servo helmet actuator. This is the version 1 board that I have. Uh, it was the SMT board, which is like the board size. Um, this is all of the, pretty much just the, the instructions for it. And um, this is for the Alicia board again. And it comes with the board. Um, so the second part to it is... Uh, there is an additional part to the, and this is completely optional for you, 
my power bank here automatically turns off after a while and you can kind of see it charging here too I can't pull it very far because I have an additional cord charging it um, so mine turns off after a while automatically and to prevent that Crashworks also came up with this little board and what this does is it plugs into a USB and then this plugs into your existing USB into your Alicia kit so um, this part for me would plug into my Alicia board and then this part that I have plugged into my board would actually come out and it would plug into this guy and what this board does is it, it pretty much tricks the power bank into thinking that it's always on so that's a pretty cool feature when it's on you'll see a flashing red light um, so those two are connected and you saw the, the helmet flicker there initializing power um, and this little board is called Penelope that they have uh, it's a power bank keep alive load pulser that's it, it pretty much just tricks the power bank onto uh, always on um, so there is a third part to this now <laughs> The third part is Crashworks is also also developing a uh, soundboard system that attaches with the Alicia board. Um, and they're going to have different board sizes and different versions of it um, coming soon. I'm just beta testing this board right now. So uh, this is called the Sue board. Oop, I bumped the camera there. But this is called the Sue board. And again, it literally has the same... Uh, I don't even know if you can see that because of the focus there. It has the same uh, labels. So speaker for the speaker, um, power for power, so on and so forth. Uh, they come with these two cables here. One's like a, a expansion ribbon cable and the other one's a power cable. Um, so the thing about this board is it's called Sue, And this stands for sound... Uh, if you could, I don't know if it'll focus. It, anyway, it stands for Sound Unit Expansion. And uh, it has a micro SD card slot here. Um, the max U SD card slot you can fit in there is an 8 gigabyte uh, card. It does come with an aux port so that you can attach an additional speaker to it, like a Bluetooth speaker or whatever. Um, and then there's different. Uh, there's different ports here for for different stuff so so far I'm just gonna be using the speaker I did wire this speaker myself and I'll just plug this in here they did provide these wires as well and here's the speaker that I wired to it um, and so the the ribbon cable the expansion you take your uh, Alicia board and it literally just plugs into the expansion port. And then you have your power cord from the Sue board and that literally plugs into the power out right next to the expansion port. And now uh, this board does come preloaded with three sounds. Um, one sound is that it's uh, the helmet opening sound and then it's going to have Jarvis on it and then the helmet closing like clank sound um, now I did a few things to my helmet I don't have Jarvis running in this I have uh, Friday from Civil War since I'm doing the, the Mark 46 I wanted to be accurate about that um, so with everything connected here um, you should be able to hit that and it plays the sound I don't know if you heard that and then I added Friday in mind so it'll play Friday after I close it just here Good evening, boss. Um, and you can load different sounds and different things to it um, I will have additional instructions and I'm gonna ha I'm gonna write out a user guide for this as well to make it as as uh, user friendly as possible so 
Um, that's it for now. I know that was a kind of a long video and explanation, but that's where I'm at right now. Um, thank you Crashworks for allowing me to beta test these boards or this Sioux board. It was amazing. Um, and thank you for all the additional help that you guys have, have gotten me uh, getting this thing up and running. I really appreciate it. So far, super, super awesome stuff. Um, we're in talks about coming up with a price for the Sioux soundboard, so uh, I'll be posting more of that as well. This is the first video that I'm posting um, kind of in works with Crashworks, so that's some exciting news. Uh, and just, you know, stay tuned. Um, I look forward to posting more, and I'll see you guys later. One more. Oh, before I go, one thing, um, I did add in one feature here, so if you turn off your power bank, and then if you turn it on, it, it'll initialize, but I have it set up to initialize a sound to where Friday will um, give an error. So here we go. So she said we have some weapon systems offline. So that's pretty cool. Um, and there will be more features with this too that Crashworks is coming out with. Uh, this is just the first, you know, test run. So um, I look forward to, to working and testing more on it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.